Hi, I'm Livio. In this video, I'll show you how to do this adventure yourself. And at the end of the video, there's a link to more details, maps, and facts. So sit back and enjoy. What's your name? Femke. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. Kungsladen, or the King's Trail, is a hiking trail in Lapland, Sweden. It's approximately 440 kilometers long. I'm only trekking the Falraven Classic Route, 110 kilometers, from Abisko in the north to Kebnekaiser Station in the east, while Femka plans to continue on for an additional 15 days. What are you doing? I'm eating chocolate for lunch. It's about the calories, you know. Oh, this, you're eating chocolate for technical yeah, reasons. absolutely. The route is easy to follow, but a map and a compass is recommended in case of bad weather. We're almost there. So how's your uh, swanky upscale accommodations? It's, it's really nice. Now I'm in uh, my tent. Mosquitoes are outside the tent. I'm inside the tent. How was your uh, evening? It was relaxing actually. <laughs> Let's go. I slept in my tent, but staff STF cabins with dorm beds are located at one day intervals along most of the trail. We're at the pass. I think. No, 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 it's in, in three days. Our first objective was the Tajka Pass at 1,150 meters. And I'm tired. And now it's time for chocolate. Oh, chocolate time. She has chocolate spaced out for at least a week. I have like one and a half kilos. It can rain and become cold very quickly in the Arctic Circle at any time of the year. So bring layers and rain gear. They're out of the park right now, no. Is that what the fence is for? Yeah. The last five kilometers you can take a boat, but we're not gonna do it. Right? Oh really? There's a boat? Yeah. I also recommend high top waterproof hiking boots because much of the ground is soggy. We came from over there and now we are going over there. Hey, telephone booth. It's a radio telephone. <whistles> You're like a thousand mosquitoes above your head. As long as they are there. Above your head, yeah. not on you. And not on my body. But then we're good. Yeah. Did I mention waterproof hiking boots? There's our destination. Way up there. Does that mean uh, we're there? Yeah, I think so. The cabins provide all the luxuries and comforts of home. Camping food. It's soft, mushy, tasty when you're uh, camping. A simple dinner. Sausage. Bread. It's really, really dry. To wake up and be gone by eight or nine or ten tomorrow. So I have, ooh, let's just say, twelve hours of sleep ahead of me. One of the STF camps that are located a day apart, approximately nine to twenty-two kilometers, along most of the trail. The trail is separated into four portions, which each represent approximately one week hiking. Femka will be hiking most of the trail and is using the cabins for simplicity and comfort. They provide dorm beds, blankets, kitchens, and shops selling supplies, and most even include a sauna. Day three, done. I think we're going to the, to the sauna. Oh no, there's no sauna here. Oh! All right, I'll catch up with you. Bye-bye. The Sami are the indigenous people inhabiting the Arctic Circle. About 10% of the Sami are connected to reindeer herding, providing them with meat, fur, and transportation. Due to the heat and the mosquitoes, the reindeer prefer to stay up high on the snowfields. Now we know what reindeer poo looks like. That's where we're going. Hey, I see a building in a hump. Success on the horizon. Our objective was the highest pass on the trail. Pass sets, check. Yeah, but how far do you have to go now? Uh... 10 days. <laughs> okay, never mind. This is a fairly easy trek physically. It is mostly gently rolling valleys and it can be very comfortable if you use the cabins for food and shelter. That's it, day four. But don't expect hot water. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Enjoy the rest of your trek. The same. Huh. I hope you have good weather on, uh, on the cap. All right, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. At this stage, we part company. Fenka will continue hiking south for a few more weeks while I cut east to Kepnekaisen, the highest mountain in Sweden. See ya. Yeah. The route I am taking is called the Falraven Classic Route, 
totaling 110 kilometers or six to seven days. Fishing for dinner is an option. This has been my main food supply every day so far. This and bread. This is lunch. And it's actually dinner also. <laughs> Keto repellent is not optional. You can't stay in one spot very long because the mosquitoes are out by the thousands. Comfortable waterproof high top hiking boots are also a must. My toe has a giant blister on it. Let's well, squeeze my feet a little. Now there's a girl be hard to catch. Kibnekaisa Camp is a very popular location because it is close to the eastern trailhead, a rail connection, and easy transport in and out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this adventure yourself. And at the end, you'll find a link to more details, maps, and facts. My name is Denny, and Tumas, Tumas, and we'll be your guides. Mount Kibnekaisa meaning cauldron crest in Lapland Sami, is the highest mountain in Sweden. It lies 150 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. Yeah, the next leg is pretty much the physical uh, challenge of today. It is Sweden's highest mountain. It consists of two peaks. The southern is the highest at 2,107 meters, while the northern is only slightly lower. We have about 30, 35 minutes for our first one. There are two routes to the summit. The western trekking route is much longer and physically harder, but it is not technical and does not require a guide. Reindeer tracks. We're walking on moraine right now. The trekking route leads over scree slopes and an intermediate peak. Most of the route is pure hiking, but there is a short exposed part that counts as grade 2 scrambling. I signed up for the shorter technical eastern route, which requires a guide and specific equipment. This route leads over glaciers and rocks and offers grade 4 exposures. Slow going. Time for the climbing! The steepest section is equipped with fixed steel cables similar to a Via Ferrata, so a harness and two carabiners are required. Uh oh! Do, do that again! Traffic jam. Yes. <laughs> Marcus Severed died here in 2002. Let's not do that again. No. <laughs> <laughs> the cable run in on a crest 40 minutes from the summit, where the two trails merge at a nearby emergency hut. More white. Some, some fixed rope up there. Up in Sweden, yeah. Now what? A little bit of visibility. A bunch of snow. Oh, wow. <laughs> and for those that want a fast exit, 